Devonish. I've just realised that nobody's ever told me that doesn't fit on screen on 4B3. It does on 69 on the recorded thing, but it doesn't on 4B3. Why does nobody ever tell me things? Guess I don't see it because I'm somewhere else on a different screen. Oh my God, I want to kill Blab sometimes. Like somebody just said in our Slack channel that it's like a girlfriend. What is it? Like crazy girl you meet on dating sites that stands you up twice in a row and does a reply to your text. Fucking nailed it. Like hashtag nailed it. Like total psycho. I don't know what it is. It's like I sit in the scheduled room. Like you schedule a thing. And then I sit in it, and then I, I see the, the countdown timer, and then I hit start, and like, yeah, let's do this. And then it just totally takes down my whole browser. It's like, F you. It's like, do one. So I'm not even going to, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use Chrome anymore. I think I might use Opera because Opera works with WebRTC or Opera, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, today's mad. Today is mad. I've got to get it all in today because I'm going to Winchester tomorrow and I've got to get a train early morning and like i'm not going to be doing the show tomorrow and not going to give you an update so everything's got to fit into today 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 couldn't even say it couldn't even say it fast enough uh i've had two cups of coffee this morning this list is like fucking huge oh by the way i was going to show you as well my hot i've got like a hot pot slow cooker by the side of you probably can hear that at the side of my computer and it's just emanating lovely smells it's like i got like pork mince and like vegetables and like vegetable stock in it and it's i oh, can't wait it's like my treat at the end of today so it's like 10 hours and what will it be it'll be like yeah it'll be about eight nine o'clock i will probably get into that i should probably turn it off high to low actually otherwise like it'll be cooked a bit too quick anyway right cool back so today schedule job meeting tomorrow uh by the way this is the countryside so that is a tractor Listen out for the tractor. Professional, pro quality recording live streams here. Nothing but the best. So they're putting caravans out or grabbing caravans. Nice day, actually, today. So tomorrow, job meeting. So I've done all my notes and everything. Can't hear a damn thing other than you. Oh, good. Uh, job meeting tomorrow. I've uh, been doing all my notes in terms of what I'm going to talk about. I mean, I don't even know if it is for a job. I hope it's for a job. We're having a meeting. She did ask me if I wanted a job and I said yes, but I don't know if there is a job that they've got to offer me or if maybe it's just me saying, here's my skills and this is what I'm able to do. Can I have a job, please? Because if they do, if they do offer me a job or if they offer me some work, even if the money is not like super good, then it doesn't matter because like I've been living so lean anyway. And to be, to be fair, I don't want to go back to Subway. I'm booked in to go back to Subway on the 2nd of November on the Monday because I was going to work somewhere for the whole of November to just bring some extra cash in for the for the humble NYC trip, which I'm going to get into in a minute. Uh, rest of today, from 12 o'clock onwards, is Udemy course, my paid course for Black Friday. I have to get that up for Black Friday. That's my Kickstarter to get going, like literally get going on Udemy in terms of sustained income. So I don't have to worry about like being at temporary jobs or being at a full-time job or contracting for somebody and always having those moments of, in my head creatively like why don't i have online courses why don't i have a residual income coming in when things get difficult or just having that like emergency blanket kind of thing of money coming in that pays for the caravan or my car or for ella or you know for fun for funds for a like college account things like that just so i know that i've got a residual income coming in if i can get that sorted and start flowing with that start putting up some free courses and paid courses like a couple of months I'll be super happy. Like I'll feel creatively like filled up because that's one thing when I'm working on projects is that between the traveling moments, I'm always thinking about the stuff I should be doing for me, the things that make me feel like I've completed something that I've given back, you know? Right. Um, bah, 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 bah. Rah, 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 rah. Where am I? At least it's something you enjoy regardless of pay. Yeah, yes, exactly. I'm a bit laggy today. I'm sorry. I'm a bit laggy, a bit slow. I don't know why that is. What else? Uh, starting back at the temp job on the second, I said that it's like a four hour shift from like 12 till four. So it's a, I'm literally being thrown into a pit of vipers at lunchtime, you know, in Subway where everybody wants to eat and everybody wants some kind of custom sandwich and everybody wants like four sandwiches and they all foot long and they want BM. Some cocky shit will come in and say, oh, what a BMT and uh, cheese in blah, blah, blah. And, blah, blah, blah. and it's like, yo, dude, I didn't catch any of that. Like, you're going to have to tell me again, like what it is. And then I have to do this like ninjutsu move with a knife and like do the sandwich thing. And then it gets passed along to the next section. And then, then the till. It's like crazy. For two, you don't know what it's like. For two hours, it's nuts. Like you're just throwing things into sandwiches, like some kind of 
samurai sandwich ninja. I think you actually called a sandwich technician, which I've never worked out why they call it that. So I don't want to go back to Subway. I would rather do this other job and I would rather do this stuff like day by day if I know I've got residual income coming in because it does take me away from being creative and I'm, I'm a creative. I'm not a sandwich maker. Do you know what I mean? What else are we going to talk about today? GoPro DSLR and bike is up for sale. Finally got all the bits and pieces together for that. I just need to add some images. I'm also selling. I'm going to put one of this up for sale, which was one of my Kickstarter things I funded a while back. I, I bought two of them. But if anybody wants this or like wants to buy this or wants to pay for it, I don't even know what to charge for it. But it's uh, an Insta frame, but it's called the Insta Cube. And you link up your Instagram account and or, you know, you, a search of things that you want to see. And um, you plug it in and it just sits on your shelf. I've got mine out, actually, which, but I don't use it because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. And it'll chew up a lot of Wi-Fi. So just let me... Yeah, it is kind of cool. Let I me mean, just see if we can get it. I, I backed the Kickstarter quite a long time ago. Here's mine. Look, how cute is this? It's even got the Instagram colors. Look, look, it's got like a little base. You sit it like that, and then it's got like the four by three. And I think it plays back videos as well. It's not the best screen in the world. I was a bit gutted when it came in. It wasn't the best screen, but it's got like the buttons on it. I don't know if you can see the buttons on the top. It's got like the, the grid, and it's got the heart. So if you like a picture, you can press the heart, and it hearts the picture. Very cool. I wanted to like have an office space or a co-working space or maybe, you know, once we get one of these like hut things, I'm going to put a few of those on the wall just so you can see images from BI Farm or from the co-working or from just Team Humble or whatever. So very, very cool. Not as cool as I wish it was. I wish the screen was a lot better, but it was one of the very early Kickstarters I funded when I had my Twitter money and I bought two because the offer was better to buy two. So that's up for sale. One of those is up for sale and it's brand new in the box, not touched, not set up, not anything. And you just connect via Wi-Fi and just sit it on the side and it just plays images all day. It's very cool. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, Postcron. Today I'm also working on my postcron.com, which is like a automation scheduling tool for Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. And I really need to get into the motion with it anyway, because normally in December I do a advert a digital video advent calendar so every day of december i kind of push out a little video like a christmasy video or an update video not very long probably 60 seconds or uh a minute and a half something like that and it's like it's just a, a really good way of uh, um releasing like either tools or like updates and i did it for november for um uh, video blogging month one year but i i find christmas to be better because i can schedule it all and then don't have to worry about like keeping conversations going in christmas because christmas for me december for me is weird because the first couple of weeks of it is kind of building up to that christmas period and then it's getting some presents for ella and probably a few other people and then literally the christmas week is my week it's really strange but like i don't see family I don't go around people's houses for dinner or anything like that. It's just me. Like literally on Christmas Day, it's just me. So like I kind of spoil myself on Christmas Day. I kind of have like a little hamper and various bits and pieces. So like I'm, I just don't, I don't go anywhere. So like I, I'm building up to do all the social so that I can sit there and just, you know, like have, you know, drinks of, uh, drinks of uh, what do you call it, uh, port and cheese. Oh, God, port and blue cheese at Christmas. Oh, my God. Um, just ask a question by Chloe in the chat. Random question because you're Mr. Internet. Do you know of a cheaper version of Edgar? I don't, but I will find you one. I like Edgar, but it's far too expensive. Um, I will find something for me, uh, for you. I will add it here. Ed, find a cheap alternative for Edgar. Got a van outside. What's got a van outside? What do you mean you got a van outside? It sounds a bit ominous. There's going to people, people going to jump out of it with rifles. Uh, I presume it's somebody for you. Doesn't matter if you've got to go, Megan, it's all good. Right. What else do I want to talk about today? Um, yeah. So post cron, I'm literally now going to be putting out, what was it now? 20 days of promotion for the Thunderclap we've got, which if you haven't seen it yet, smarturl.it humble clap. Add your Twitter, your Facebook, your Tumblr. If you can't afford to donate to our fundraiser, then use your Twitter account, social, your social media accounts in general to um, amplify a message that goes out all at the same time. So if we get 250 people, um, I'm, I'm sort of trying to get about a million eyeballs on this in terms of social reach. All it does is it sends a message all at the same time. But I want to schedule a blab at the same time so that as it launches, we're talking on blab and you get that amplification. You get that kind of wave effect of people going to 
the GoFundMe page. I'm going to update the GoFundMe page today with some of the perks that the girls have been working on. Um, also going to look about storyboarding a new video for that because I think we need to be a bit more bit more of an explanation because the video we got up there is the one that me and Dale like put together. So there's that. Uh, and also 20 days of promotion for the GoFundMe campaign. So promotion for the, uh, the Thunderclap and then 20 days also for GoFundMe campaign. So if you see any images on my Facebook or my Twitter, do retweet them, do spread them out. It all helps raise awareness and people like remember it and stuff. Well out updating perks on GoFundMe. I've just mentioned that 100 gig uh, Christmas sim for the people who are off grid or digital nomads or you're in the UK for the November or December. There is a great uh, sim package back out again by EE. They did a summer sim, which basically got me going through the whole of like June, July, I think August as well, because I, I got two sims and managed to overlap them all. And they do a £10 deal for 100 gigabit of data, which is crazy. It's like 4G data. So that was really useful for me because I, I didn't have to worry for a whole month that I was you know using a lot of data. I have found a workaround, temporary workaround, but I do prefer EE's network. It seems faster than the, the other one that I'm using at the minute. The only reason why I'm not mentioning it at the minute is I don't want them to block it because I've been using it quite a lot and it's working quite nicely at the moment. So go and find that. That's smarturl.it forward slash 100GB. So that's smarturl.it 100GB. Uh, put your postal address in. It's a free SIM. Get sent out. Really annoyed about this as well because I sent a message to EE on Twitter saying, why is it that, you know, I got the summer SIM and I had the summer summer 150 deal, um, uh, 100 deal, sorry, and I can't upgrade, you know, why can't you just like add it on to that? Like I can pay another £10, I get 100 gig. Oh no, you have to have another SIM. So from a climate change perspective, why are we print, printing out all these SIM cards? I don't, I just don't get it. It just makes no sense to me that we just have these, you know, if you're trying to build up numbers of people to be on your service, um, People are just going to use it for the two months and then leave because you're not even offering them an upgrade plan after you've like done those deals. Like, so I don't know if you think like people are just stupid that they're going to pay more money because I'm not going to pay ten pounds for one gig when I've had hundred gig for ten pounds. It doesn't make any sense. So I, I literally throw that sim away and put another sim in. So it's a waste. A waste of producing sim. I don't even know why we use sims in the UK. They don't even use them in the US. But anyway, if you're looking for data. Uh, for November, December, you may be traveling to the UK. Grab your EE SIM, 100 gig, 10 quid a month. Just put 20 pound in that account and you're set for two months. You've got more than enough data there. Uh, another thing I'm doing is in November, I think the 11th and 12th, maybe not the 11th, because I think I'm going to my uh, therapy thing, my hand thing. What do you call it? Uh, I can't think what it's called. On the 11th, the 11th, physio at half two. So I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make the first day depends it's a bit of an awkward time 2:30 I could probably go to the event in the morning and then come back for lunch and hit my hospital thing and then go again the next day I'm not sure but I've got tickets for the Holiday Park Innovation uh, event at the NEC in Birmingham it's a free event it's holidayparkshow.co.uk and the reason why I'm going is that I've got vouchers and tickets um for a course that I'm putting out there and the course will be for caravan and camping sites to learn about social media. And I'll give them a free voucher to join it because there's absolutely hundreds of ex exhibitions on the day. So there's like huts and sustainable housing. And I, I'm just going to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe like I'm just going to so enjoy that day because it's all the stuff that I'm into. So I'll be I'll be going to that. Yeah, the NEC, I don't Megan's saying it's brum, but like I don't like the NEC. I think I think really like. At certain times of day, it like takes off and goes to another planet and then comes back because that place is like the planet in there. I'm telling you, it's just it's just a weird energy in that place. Um, bah, 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 bah. what else was gonna say? Da, 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 da. So the holiday park innovation, holiday park show.co.uk. Gonna take loads of Udemy course vouchers and give those out. I haven't even done the course yet, so I've literally got like so much on this week. It's crazy. Another thing that I'm looking at, and this is a money thing, so I can't do it yet until either this job comes off or I get back in December or early January. But this is really exciting to me. It's a thing called the thing, the thing network.org. And the thing network.org is a Kickstarter for a device 
which is using a new kind of standard. It uses like a new kind of Wi-Fi. And this low-powered, it's almost like Ethernet Wi-Fi. If you know what Ethernet is, the cable that you connect up to your router and your computer. So it's like this high-speed connection. But the thing with this Wi-Fi is the range of it. It can it can literally go over like 10 kilometers, which is a pretty pretty big range. So if I stuck one of these routers, which are like 200 euros, I think it is, with an aerial on top of the tree next to my caravan, I can reach, I worked it out from their little database thing, I can reach 7,000 people. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, this router allows you to make Internet of Thing devices that they can communicate back to this router. So within that 7,000 people area, you can have people literally sharing Internet with each other. So it's like creating your own Internet network, like mesh network and having Internet internet connected devices all around. So you can have webcams and little sort of social groups, etc. So that is really exciting to me because it's the first kind of the first kind of device that uses this new standard and Megan say it's perfect for me. It certainly is. The thingsnetwork.org. If you go to the thingsnetwork.org forward slash landing forward slash impact, it will show you. You can put in your postcode and you can work out the amount of people in your area within 10 kilometers of your area. And then it's a case of like you can set up a little hack space and make these little what are called Arduino boards, little technology boards that people can play with. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? One last thing, really. What, what kind of time is it? Oh, yeah bang on 20 minutes that is awesome last thing i want to talk about and it's to do with nyc it's to do with the humble nyc by the way i don't know if i mentioned that earlier on but it's a smart url for slash humble clap for the for the um uh, for the thunderclap and then smart dot url uh no gofundme.com forward slash humble nyc for the donation one smart url dot it forward slash humble clap for the thunderclap and the last thing i want to talk about today is I should be getting access to a thing called Thing Thing Think. Thing Think. No, Thing Link. Fucking hell, that's really hard to say. Thing Link, especially when you had loads of coffee and you've just been rattling through loads of other stuff. Thing Link, which is this really cool service where you've got like images or um, videos or audio and you can like add uh, um, annotations over the top of it. So you can put certain areas so I'm going to build a NYC map of Manhattan of where all the food kitchens are. And then when you hover over these little dots of where the food kitchen is, it pops up like an overlay. And I think I've worked out that I can put a Wistia embed into each one of those overlays so we can upload little video clips and little videos and interviews with people at the different venues. And all we have to do is shoot the video upload it into Wistia, drop it into the right playlist, and it's automatically done. It's literally, it will just show up on the map. So you hover over the dot, and the little pop-up box will come up with the Wistia playlist, and then every little video that we put in will be just listed in it. And I just think it would be a really nice thing to do, is just to buy a really cheap domain name, because this is kind of how it happens with me. We do all the fundraising, and we're literally a week away from going. Everybody's manic and like sorting out their clothes and sorting out their passport and their Esther and everything else. And it's like, okay, we haven't got the site sorted or we haven't got that. So I'm thinking of a really basic site with a map on it, various dots on it. So the Airbnb, roughly where the Airbnb is home base. So we'll have little video clips in there and then we'll have the blab and the chat because you can embed blabs. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm thinking that I might run Wirecast all week from here using an automatic automated playlist. As long as the, the blab doesn't crash, as, in, as long as blab doesn't fall over and it just keeps going, I can have this playlist running all the time and then we just join into that, which means I can get the iframe and embed that iframe for that blab chat into the page as well. So like, I've got a few ideas that are bubbling around my head and I think I can get it done in time. That's it for today. Is there Wi-Fi at the Airbnb? Yes, there is. And if there isn't, I'll bring some. Doesn't matter. Don't worry. I will not go without internet. Nobody will go without internet. I am not going off the internet. I'm not going to America with no internet. That's a ridiculous thing. Right, I keep losing my head, like literally, like ch chopping my head off. Sorry, guys. Right, that's it. I'm done. I'm going back to work because I've got shit loads to do, and it's like 12 o'clock. Um, I will speak to you all tomorrow or in Slack. Goodbye.